In this video, we're going to solder some through-hole components. Now, the first thing regarding through-hole components is you wanna make sure you don't lose them. So what I do is I take a piece of tape and I fold it in half back on itself so the sticky side is pointing out so I can have a surface where I'm not going to lose my surface mount components. These are 0805 components and relatively they're pretty big for surface mount components. But even so, you just have to sneeze the wrong way and that's it, they're gone for good. And once they're on the floor, you'll never find them again. So now I've got somewhere I can keep my surface mount components safe from rolling around the table, I'm gonna place them on here. These are 0805 resistors. That tells me the size of the resistor they are. And if you look really closely at them, you can see there's a number on the resistor. This tells me the value of the resistor. I think these ones might be one mega ohm resistors. I've zoomed in here a bit so you can see what the underneath of these resistors look like. You can see clearly there's two little solder pads on either side of the resistor and that's what you want to solder onto. So let's get straight to soldering. First of all I'm going to put a little bit of flux down on my solder pad. These solder pads are really good for practice when you're just starting to use surface mount components because the pads are nice and big that you can get your soldering iron onto. Then I'm going to place my component. I've just gotten my pencil and I've dipped it in the flux. This way my tiny little resistor is going to stick to the end of my pencil. I push it around a bit and I try my best to get it stuck in the middle of those pads. Now let's bring on the solder. You've been practicing for this, so you know what to do. First of all, I'm going to heat up the pad and then hold the little component in place and try and hold the component down while the solder cools. And that's it. See how it moves around the place? Well, that's quite normal and it can get a little bit frustrating. So you just have to be patient and try again. In this case, the solder has held both to the pad and to the component. So I'm gonna call that a win. Another way you can do it is put a little bit of solder down on the pad and then stick one side of the component to that and then the other. So here you can see I've put the solder down on the pad and maybe a little bit more on that side. I'm gonna place the component now. In this case, I'm gonna use tweezers because it's just going to hold the component pretty well. I find using my finger, it gets really difficult. Using a pencil can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, there's no way the pencil can be magnetic and it's not going to pull the component around the board. But on the other hand, the graphite from the pencil can flake off and get in the road of your soldering. Here, I'm just trying to use the pencil to hold the component down. If you don't have access to one of those nifty practice boards, you can use a little bit of strip board to practice your surface mount soldering. All you have to do is put the component down between the tracks and solder both sides of your 0805 component to each track. That pencil's got a little bit of flux stuck to it, so I'm just gonna clean it off camera on some toilet paper. Here I am, I'm just pushing the component around to try and get it in a good position where I can solder it between the two tracks. I think that's a pretty good spot. So I'm just going to solder that now. First of all, I'm gonna put a little bit of solder on the tip of my soldering iron. I'm gonna hold the component down so the jolly thing won't move all over the board with my trusty pencil. Then I'm gonna heat up the soldering pad and the pad on the component, and then it'll be joined. It doesn't take very long because these are only very small areas. Now I'm going to do the other side. So we've been working up to this. These small pads, these 0805 pads, that's what we're going to solder onto. So I'm gonna put some flux on and do the same thing. Put the component down and hold the component down solder one side, and then solder the other side. You wanna pay close attention to your solder joins in this situation. Make sure that you've got a join between your component and your solder pad. 
Most of the time it's going to stick fine to the solder pad, but sometimes it may not stick to the component. If you've made a mistake and soldered the wrong component down on your PCB, you can use a little bit of solder wick and hold your soldering iron over both sides of the component and use that to lift the component out. Same with on your strip board. You can use solder braid there as well. All the solder braid is doing is spreading the heat out evenly across both sides of the component. Thanks for watching and go and have fun soldering.